Hey test takers, welcome back to exam prep solutions. And in this video, we're going to find the head loss in a pipe using the Hazen Williams equation. So let's just jump right into the video and let's solve this FE problem. So here's the problem here. Find the head loss in a pipe that is 200 feet long, has a Hazen Williams coefficient of 131, a diameter of one and a half feet and a velocity of two feet per second. So when we jump into an FE exam problem, right, we don't just want to start solving immediately. We actually want to go through a step-by-step -step process that will help us solve the problem efficiently and is a repeatable process to solving all the problems on the FE exam. So the first thing to do is find out what is given and what do we need to find. So we know what's given here was the length of the pipe, that was 200 feet. Um, we were given a velocity, that was 2 feet per second. Um, we were given a diameter, which is 1 and a half feet. And then uh, we were given the Hayes and Williams coefficient, which is C. 131. So that's a good place to start. What we're going to want to do is flip over to the FE reference manual, find the appropriate equations because we're trying to find, remember what we're trying to find? We're trying to find head loss in feet. And uh, we don't know what that value is yet, but we're going to use the Hayes and William equation to find it. So let's flip over to the FE manual and we're going to search for Hayes and Williams equation and see what comes up here. And we specifically want to find the head loss equation. So we find it over here. And here's the equation. It looks like, let me do this. Let me do this so I can see it here. Head loss is going to equal right here 4.73 L over C to the 1.852, D to the 4.87, and then Q to the 1.852. Okay, so that's our equation for finding. The head loss in this pipe. So we have most of the things already given. However, we're going to have to find Q and we're going to do that by uh, using the diameter that we were already given here and the velocity using using another equation here. So we got 4.73 times the length of that pipe, which was 200 feet. Q, we don't have Q yet, but I'll show you how we can find that. The Hayes and Williams coefficient was 131. And then the diameter of the pipe, that was one and a half feet. So we got 1.5 raised to the 4.87. So how are we going to find Q? Well, if we remember from our continuity equations, Q equals V times A. And we did have a pipe velocity here. So we can take two and we can multiply that by the area. Pi D squared over four to help us find Q here. So if we insert the diameter of 1.5 into this equation here, we end up getting a Q of roughly 7.1 feet cubed per second. So now we have everything we need. We're going to plug this into the final equation here. If we use our calculators, which we should be very familiar with, for the FE exam, you don't want to be using a randomly provided calculator they give you at the test location. Get really comfortable with your calculator. Make sure it's up to the standards and specifications of the test. And then we're going to use that to uh, do some number crunching here. So this should come to a head loss total of 0.594 feet in the using this Hayes and Williams equation here. We can see that C.6 is going to be the closest answer here. So we're going to select C for this one. So our, our final answer uh, will be C for this problem. Remember the process here. We identified what we had, what we needed to find. We found two different equations that we end up using, right? We use this head loss Hayes and Williams one, and we also use the continuity equation, Q equals V times A. That allowed us to get Q, then we plug that value back into the final equation, and then we're able to find the head loss. If you're struggling to solve FE exam problems, you're gonna want a guide and a step-by-step -step process to solving each and every problem if you wanna pass the FE exam. Go ahead and for free, click and download our five steps to solving any FE exam problem guide. It's 100% free. It's gonna give you a lot of information on a step-by-step -step process to solve any problem. If you have any questions, leave it in a comment down below, and we'll see you guys next time.